Hey, 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 happy Friday. It's all the way up crypto. And I'm your host, A.A. Ron, Aaron, or Miner, or put them all together. I don't care. Anyway, um, I'm pretty tired. I was up pretty late last night. I thought I lost some of my uh, coins. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about some stuff about wallets. Um, to make sure that you take care of your coins. Uh, it's very easy to become lackadaisical and stuff and not do what you need to do. So, uh, most good wallets are getting designed better and better for dummies. Um, and I'm not a dummy, I'm pretty seasoned. But this just goes to show you how uh, someone who can be seasoned and can overlook things or, you know, you forget to really ask what the heck's going on. Why didn't it ask me for this? Why didn't it provide that for me? Um, so most of your wallets now are using your 12 seed phrase kind of formats, okay? Essentially what that is is a human readable part um, of your private key. That is your private key, but the, the software knows how to uh, translate that to encrypt it, so it is your private key. Anyway, um, some of your other wallets, you just back them up, like your desktop wallet, you back up your uh, your wallet.dat file. Um, those are usually your native uh, ones that run the nodes, so they download the whole blockchain. Um, so you can easily just go file, back up, and you know, back it up onto a USB drive, and you're usually pretty safe. Um, and then you have a wallet like Agama, and I like Agama. It sounds cool, like Agama for your mama. Anyway, um, and there's a lot of features to the Agama wallet um, that are pretty cool, but that's where a lot of people would store their Komodo. And actually, that's where I had my Komodo, because I wanted to, you know, stake some of my coins. Like, let's earn some free coins here for, you know, holding on to some Komodo. Open up my wallet once a month, click, hey, claim your coins. Okay, I claimed them, all right. You know, 5%, it's <laughs> better than a savings account, especially when Komodo's been hovering around a dollar, right? Um, it probably will go much higher than a dollar. Anyway, so I opened up the wallet because I knew I needed to claim uh, some of my staking rewards, and it wasn't loading, wasn't loading, restart, wasn't loading. I'd go to close out of it, it would hang up. So I didn't know what the heck was going on checked if there's an update all right there's an update so update the wall replace the old one i go to open up that new updated wallet and uh it's asking me to input my whiff or seed phrase uh or just you know add a new native token so when you open up the Ga gama wall and you add another token um you don't necessarily need to do anything it'll just add it in there for you and create the wall for you Anyway, um, and this is where I didn't really understand too much how it going to work, but it, it does create your private keys and stuff for you, and you need to back them up. You go to the settings, and you can export your with key, which is a wallet import file, um, which is basically kind of, it's basically another way, way I understand it to do your seed phrase, your 12 words. Anyway, so I open up the wallet, there's nothing in there. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? I'm asking for help on Discord, Telegram, they're like, we well, you know, just let it open, it'll find your wallet information, your coins are probably still there, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm stubborn and a troubleshooter and like to figure things out um, sometimes on my own because I'm not... I don't know, sometimes I don't trust people, sometimes I think I can just figure it out. Anyway, I did find out when I Googled, because I'm sure other people had this problem, right? Everybody has crypto problems, and they post it on Reddit or wherever, and you find some help. So I uh, did see where your wallet addresses are tied to a WIF key. So, well, uh, wait a second, if I can track down, because I know I have my Komodo and my Nano, and it's that Komodo from my Nano to my Gama wallet, 
And then I believe I combined all those. So I, I remembered roughly how many Komodo I did have and it claimed and stuff. And so well, if I can track that down in a block explorer, just connect the dots, hey, I'll be able to get that address that had all my Komodo in it. Oh, it's all still there. So no one hacked me. That's good. That's positive. All right, let's click on settings and there's a place in the Agama wallet that you can import the address and it'll show you the WIF keys. Um, so I got lucky, right? Maybe I didn't get lucky. But hopefully that helps some of you out. If you do update your Gama wallet, you're having issues, that's how you can figure out uh, your WIF key. And it's actually good because then I just changed it over to the SPV wallet. So I wasn't waiting for the native wallet to download all the blocks from the blockchain, yada, yada, yada. But anyway, my, my point um, was actually to get it back onto my Nano because there's two ways you can actually claim your staking rewards. One is with a Magnum wallet. Um, which has been approved by the Komodo people as a solid wallet um, and many other people use this Magnum wallet and, uh, and if you go to GitHub there's an Atomic Labs I think I wonder but anyway they created a tool uh, the only downside it, I don't want to say downside but they developed it and they're taking like 5% of your reward um, is it 5% yeah so if your if your reward was uh, five Komodo uh, in case you were staking you know whatever 100 or something you got five Komodo they would take uh, 0.25 uh, Komodo so it's not a lot but it is I guess reasonable for them as developers uh, you can use that if you want I believe the Magnum they don't take a fee uh, and there's tutorials out there so what I'm going to do is um, I'll post a link to the Magnum wallet and a YouTube video that describes it in the Medium post. And then I'll also post a link to the GitHub. And I believe there was a Medium post that walks you through how to do uh, the Atomic Labs claiming. So, uh, hopefully this video helps you out. I uh, hope you guys enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Uh, probably won't do anything on Monday if I do. Maybe something quicker, an update. Um, as far as the market... It hasn't really done much. It hasn't really gone down a bunch. It hasn't gone up a bunch. We did dip down there, 74, 7600, back up around 8,000 uh, with Bitcoin. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another 10% increase. Uh, so we could see the 9,000 mark close to it, somewhere around there uh, over the weekend. So hang tight. You never know what will pop up. Um, it's crypto. Nothing saying anything has to do what it's going to do. Uh, but saw stuff popping around today. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. And if you haven't liked this video, do that also. And hopefully I uh, gave you some good information. Talk to you uh, next week. Peace.